Hey there people, yeah it is me Nosy, and I am back again for a figure review. Not a transformer review, but a figure review. Um, I'm going to completely skip all the antics I usually do at the beginning of a video, just get straight onto it because, you know, I think a lot of people are a bit bored with me having to, you know, explain this, that and the other every time I do a video. So, I'm going to get straight into it. <clears throat> so, Today I'm actually going to be starting something new. Um, I should have actually done this a lot sooner, but I'm actually doing this now. I'm starting to do it now, and um, quite a bit ago I started doing Gundam kits, and I've done well. I've done two kits, and I've got two which are actually ready-made, little ready-made Gundams, um, but they're already done. So all you had to do was the weapons, you know, build the weapons. Um, but anyway, I'm actually going to start off with the first one I ever bought. Um, well, just starting to buy them. And this is the first one I got. I got this primarily just to get into it. This awesome little specimen of a Gundam. Need. This bullshit you claims all down to me It's not falling Got it now This guy, because uh, I've posted up a few pictures of this on um, Facebook um, and According to the pictures on the box It is actually um, GP01 Prototype Multipurpose Gundam suit Mobile suit <coughs> So you can't really see it properly in the glare of my uh, computer. It's a bit glary, isn't it? Very nice little model. I'm actually really pleased with this particular one because it it's the first one of actually. Well, I have actually. I did one of these. It was a bigger scale, um, <clears throat> and it's going back a good couple of years or more. Um, and that was what that actually would be more than a couple of years. I think it was a good five or more years ago. And um, I was really getting into Gundam at that point. And I got my first ever kit, and it was the main character of Gundam Wing, his Gundam. I've forgotten the name. I'm not very good with the Gundam names, so forgive me. <clears throat> but um, yes, yeah, so I completely built it. Completely did it well. So I thought, sod it. I might do it again. So I've got this guy, which is a really basic one, is a prototype model, and it's a multi-purpose Gundam. Um, <clears throat> he does, he comes with this, obviously this gun, which he's holding at the moment, and he comes with a bunch of um, laser swords, or whatever you want to call them, as well, which they all do, which is kind of the the thing of a Gundam. You know, it comes with a laser sword and a weapon. Uh, actually, two weapons. It's cool. It comes with this little mini gun, this machine gun thing, and it comes with a big one as well, I think, anyway. <clears throat> I really do like this little guy, to be quite honest. It is really nice. You know, the. He, do, he looks a little bit bland because um, I kind of need to go over the. over the bits that. Um, in the mould and the legs and everything. You may see it on the camera, there is creases in, in the middle of the legs. You're meant to kind of like pinstripe that with a black, with like black or grey model paint. And you do that on every little bit of detail in the plastic and it's meant to bring it out, bring it out, make it a bit more, you know, make it a little bit more standouty. But for what it is, without any further paint apps, it is actually quite a nice little thing. You know, this it also comes with this nice little um, shield as well, which attaches just to the forearm. Articulation on this guy is actually very good. Um, I've forgotten how good these guys are when it comes to articulation. Um, it's got a really good movement of, of the hip, and also you can get a good in and out like that. It's got a good 
uh, knee movement on both legs. It's also got a good twisty, twisty and uppy, uppy and downy joint for the foot. And it's also got a nice little bit of give in the shoulder. It's also got a 360 twist and up and down ball joint of the head. And also it's got a completely 360 twist of the uh, torso as well. Because obviously it all goes together. So yeah, you get a really decent, and also you can actually get a 360, 360 twist of the uh, forearm as well, but I can't show you that because this arm here, I've had to super glue it stiff. <coughs> um, a stupid mistake of mine, to be honest. It was, um, I used a bit of glue, because when I was putting it together, Quite a few of the uh, connectors didn't really seem to have gone in, and it, the, a lot of the stuff wasn't. It wasn't staying in where it should be. So for as a lot of people that do models, they seem to use a little bit of glue and work it and work the um, you know the area or like an arm or a leg, and it's meant to make it stiff again, nice and stiff. And I did that trying to do that method, and I put a bit of glue and I started to work it so it wouldn't stick and it seemed to dry and it, it, it was still moving I'd leave it for about a minute and it completely seized so it kept uh, kept trying to force it to come back out and at one point the whole thing just completely give and they had to completely stick it together so I've stuck it in a position where it, it, you know you can point his gun so it doesn't look too bad um, I actually got away with that quite well actually so yeah it's really nice it's got a lovely paint quite a nice paint to it you know it comes with a bunch of stickers as well which I've applied it comes with uh, a face you know the eyes you get like an eye stick the eye sticker or the visor sticker and um, you get like little red stickers to put uh, here in the knees of the see these ones here they're not very good though those they seem to not stick and they keep coming off keep having to apply them again every time I touch them um, but yeah it comes with a little sticker sheet like they all do they all come with a little sticker sheet but yeah I really do like it very nice I really do like it um, I have got another one which is actually a, a, a one that I built but it's not as good uh, it's uh, the main character, uh, the main bad guy character from Gundam Wing. Forgotten the guy's name. Um, yeah, so I've got his as well, but I need to kind of paint that up a little bit to make it a little bit more, you know, make it emphasise it a little bit. It looks really bland. It's just completely white with a bit of grey. It looks really crap. So I'm gonna have to paint that up a little bit before I review that. But before I move on. It actually came with another accessory. It came with this, like, I don't know what this is meant to represent. I don't know if it's like a separate little drone, like a little drone he can deploy, um, or it, it's like a representation of what it transforms into. Because there is a, a some Gundams are transformable, and I don't know what this is about because I've, I know nothing of this one. It's a completely I never, I've never known this particular Gundam, um, but it's a bit weird, really. It's, it's just like a little jet in the same colour principle of him. You know, it's got like the blue, grey, and obviously white. Pretty nice, really, for a really, really small, little, detailed little ship. So I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's like, uh, obviously it can be manned because it has a cockpit. So I don't know whether it's it, it, trans, it transforms into this, or if he, this is like a drone or something he can deploy from the actual suit itself. I've no idea what this is completely for, so maybe someone else out there can let, tell me about it. But it is really, really nice and a little... Really little gesture it comes with, like a little jet as well. So got a bit of playability with 
that as well as the actual mobile suit itself. So yeah, that is kind of it for this review. Very basic little review. Um, I had to get this out of the way because oh, I had to get this started because it's been a while. Um, yes, and I will be back with more very soon. Um, I'll be getting my 100 plus sub one up very soon. Very sorry for the wait on that, but anyway, it will be coming up. Be very. Uh, I thank you for your patience on that. But I will try to get other reviews out before the 100 plus because it's taking a lot longer than I expected or anticipated. So thank you very much, people, and I hope you enjoyed this new edition of Gundam Wing or Gundam reviews. So thank you very much. Peace.